So the, the two processes um, that are playing out in Parliament at the moment, the one is the amendment of Section 25 of the Constitution. Um, there's been a recommendation now by the Constitutional Review Committee that the Constitution should indeed be amended. An ad hoc committee um, under the chairmanship of Toko Tudiza has been appointed to come up with a wording for the amendment of the Constitution. That's a one process. Um, after they have come up with a wording that will be um, encapsulated in a bill, a constitutional amendment bill, that will then have to find its way through Parliament. The other process is the um, amendment or the, the redrafting of the expropriation bill. There have been two previous attempts to come up with a new expropriation bill um, in 2008 and then again in around 2014-15. Um, in both instances, the bill was eventually withdrawn from Parliament. Um, this is another attempt to come up with a new expropriation law. This um, bill that was published in the Government Gazette is very similar to the one that was with withdrawn um, from Parliament, the, the last one, um, except for the fact that a clause has now been inserted that provides for particular categories of land where expropriation may take place at no compensation. They are separate processes, so the, the process of amending the constitution is much more involved and there the are strict procedures and majorities required. Um, the expropriation bill is just a normal piece of legislation, um, but they both deal with the subject matter of expropriation, so that is what links them up, but the processes are separate processes. So in terms of the um, ongoing constitutional review pr process, um, AgriSA will be um, closely monitoring the process, will be attending those meetings in Parliament of the ad hoc committee. We will make use of any opportunity um, to bring our views across and to address that committee if such opportunity is, is given. And once there is a, a wording in a bill, we will have it scrutinised um, by our legal team and we will also make input on that. As far as the expropriation bill is concerned, we will um, follow our normal um, processes of, of engagement, written commentary, um, asking for an opportunity to address the portfolio committee and also have um, you know, it assessed by our legal team. Yes, there's a process which is quite concerning, um, which is the publication of final regulations by the Valuer General in terms of the um, Property Valuation Act. So there were draft regulations previously that AgriSA objected to, those have now been uh, published in a final form. The Valuer General seems to be using the, the particular formula quite generally now. And the result is that the just and equitable compensation which is being offered um, to landowners is well below market value. So AgriSA's Board of Directors has already given us the go-ahead to get involved in a test case um, to have the, the, the regulations reviewed and, and have a just and equitable compensation interpreted by the courts. So the, the, the golden thread is the issue of compensation, which is key to all three processes. AgriSA's view basically is that um, compensation should be in line with international standards. And internationally, um, if you look at, at most of the investment treaties, um, the requirement is for prompt, adequate and effective compensation. And it's difficult to see how no compensation can be regarded as complying with, with such an international standard. Mm -hmm.